chapter 18, verse 22, and with a male you shall not lie the lines of woman, it's an abomination. And it's read on the afternoon of Yom Kippur. And, and it's a gut-wrenching and difficult reading for lots of gay and lesbian people. And many liberal congregations, for just this reason, have ch chucked the reading and replaced it with something nice. So the question I want to share with you today is whether or not it makes sense to do that. Um, I, as a traditionalist, am really hesitant to change liturgy. It's, there's a certain crucible of time, a certain trust in thousands of years of shared prayer that I'm not so keen on chucking. And despite the fact that it's difficult, I think it pays to read those verses. You know, uh, it's a Freudian insight that things that are repressed um, come back. It's, it's, not, it's not so simple to simply avoid a text when it's there. And I prefer on Yom Kippur to have the gut-wrenching and difficult text in front of us and to have the communities struggle with it and to perhaps even clap our chests and a apologize for the pain it's caused, but not to avoid engaging with it. We can decide to ignore them. We can sideline them. We can actively throw them into the dustbin of history if we wish. Or we can use them. We can use them to make congregations aware of us. We can use them to learn. We can reinterpret them. You can't erase the words of the Torah. They're there. You open up any scroll, it's there. And no Jew, no liberal Jew, no agnostic Jew, no atheist Jew is going to arrange to have Torah scrolls excerpted. It's there. The question is, what do we do with it?